Alright, well, Sack Loser 5 again here, and I'm here to talk about how I have this whole new theory on reptiles. Like, I've been watching my past videos, and I'm just like, wow, I was not knowledgeable at all. I did not know what I was talking about, really, it seems like. And now, like, thinking about it and learning with my good friend Mike Weber, he has several monitors, he has Acme monitors that breed, and they're a really hard monitor to get to breed and he's doing it without them, without even trying to. And I have this whole new theory, like, reptiles actually live in the wild, and they actually interact with real things. So all this fake crap you're buying at PetSmart isn't really cutting it. And I've noticed that if I actually get real things, like for instance, this isn't the cage, I just bought some more sand, topsoil, not miracle Grow, but regular cheap off-brand dirt, and some sphagnum peat moss from like Home Depot, and a real tree, cut off time, happy as can be, with mealworms, that's a real rock, stuff like that, it's called enrichment, fancy word for entertainment for your stuff. Over here, more python cage. I've not used fake, I haven't done fake plants yet, but that's all real soil and dirt and stuff like that. Like, I know it's real in the store too, but you know what I'm trying to say, like stuff not from PetSmart, with all that calcivitis and bullcrap, alright, so you're telling me it wants to eat the sand? No, there's... An impaction is just a fancy word for piss poor care of your reptile. Yeah, it's gonna eat stuff and actually and get a little soil in it. It does that in the wild too, but it doesn't choke on it. Alright, that's just when you don't have proper UVB lighting for like your leopard gecko or something like that. And the K and it doesn't get have enough like calcium and stuff to digest it. I'm more knowledgeable on reptiles right now. I've been learning, I've been studying for a for a while now. And I'm going to show you what the cage looks like now. And I'll make another video on what it's going to look like. So show the cage. Let me see this. See this cage. I'm showing you the cage. This is my brother's ball python cage. Alright, I'm showing you this right now. He's in there. That's what it looks like now. Leo's. My leopard gecko. I'm showing right there. And that's a new one dish right now. I'll come over here into... And this is my corn snake cage. That's all real stuff. Like the trees and stuff like that. That's legit. There's my baby juvenile corn snake. Hiding in the jungle side. And there's its rock and its um his little hide thing and then little stuff. Um also I wanna talk about how PetSmart is the the absolute worst place to get any reptile stuff. Like it's expensive and overpriced. A bag of sphagnum moss costs about four dollars for this huge bag of it. So this teeny block from Petsmart for fifteen dollars. Also, your light bulbs. You don't need. Yeah, you you get the UVB ones from there, which is all good and stuff. But the heat ones, just for your heat, you can get a Petsmart or uh, Lowe's and or Home Depot for like for like a halogen bulb or a, something like that. Like. It's called a halogen bulb. Don't get expend like real high wattage though, because it does get hot. Get like an 80 to 70 watt bulb, and it'll be good for your ball python, your leopard gecko, your corn snake, your bearded dragon, which I will go show you right now. Hold on, stuff like that. I did sell my ball pythons though because I'm getting a frilled dragon. We're building a two by four by six cage for it, but I have almost three hundred dollars right now for the cage setup. This is my brother's room. Shut that door. This is his bearded dragon cage. I'm pretty happy. This, right here, this is called a, the reggae stack. Reggae is a guy that I met on, or that I met on a forum. And this helps fluctuate the temperature on which something has to be. It's good for, it really works for my ball pythons. They loved it. Um, all you do is take these little 2 by 2s and then some little plywood or whatever. Screw it in. Screw it in, and then you put it in a stack. Hence, it's called name reggae stack. And you put your basking put that's your basking spot. And as the it keeps going down, it can pick the specific temperature it wants to be at. There's its food, and there's like um those kind of crickets on there. He makes a mess. Like oh, that's a mealworm that moved. That I said what? Where's the point on that move? 
he is under there because that's a he dug that underneath that rock out and it's like a little cave and there's a water dish and yeah that's his cage so again soil sand mixed together works good fake plants I don't know if I want them ready for real plants yet I mean I gotta still look at what's poisonous what's not all right well I'm gonna redo the cages except the corn snake cage that one's fine but I'm redoing the cages even the bearded dragon cage. It does look good, but I'd want to do something else. But you guys will see when I get back. So thanks for watching.